Hey guys, welcome to Protocol Orders Point. Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to convert base64 string into image and show it in our image widget. So in our previous part, we have covered how to convert image to base64 string. So in this tutorial, we are going to do reverse that is base64 to image. Okay, so let's get started. So before getting started, let me show you what has been done in my previous tutorial. So this is my code that converts image into base64 string okay so here i have declared a variable that holds a url of my image and then there is a method that converts our image into base64 string okay so for uh, getting the image data from the internet i am making use of http package that gets image data from this url okay and then by making use of base64 encoding uh, method that comes from uh, dot convert package uh, so by making use of this uh, base64 encode i am just converting the image that we received into base64 string okay and then i am just printing it over here so this method is been called when a button is been pressed okay so now uh, we have the data that is been stored in this variable that is base64 string has been stored in this variable okay so now I want to make use of this base64 string and show it in an image widget over here. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so so down of this button widget, I want to show a image widget. So let's do that. So first of all, I need to check if there is any data that is been stored in this variable that is base64 string. Okay, so for that over here if this base64 string is equal to equal to null then i will just show a empty container okay and if this has any data then i want to show the actual uh, image by making use of image.memory widget okay so over here you can just pass the data uh, or base64 string okay so for that i will just make use of base64 decoder method and inside this base64 decoder method i want to pass our base64 string okay so how this works is our base64 string will get converted by making use of base64 decoder and then the decoded uh, image will be shown in this image widget okay so this process will happen when our get method is been called get base64 this method is been called when our button is been pressed okay so immediately after this i want to just call set state method because i want to just update my ui as per a ui uh, variable changes so in my case we are going to change this variable uh, so i want to just refresh our ui design uh, so i'm just making use of set state okay so let's check it now hot refresh okay so i'm just pressing on this button so you can see our base 64 string is been shown in this image widget okay so that's all for this video tutorial hope you got the concept of how to convert base 64 to image and show it in the image widget okay so thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you